Dear Diary. And, uh, yes, this is a vlog to today's morning diary, because I just can't resist it, okay? So, um, basically after an almost long day, I've had a pretty hard headache, along with the really, really stupid fucking sore throat. Not to mention, that I was completely having a hard time to settle down. Like I've even drank a hot chocolate for fuck's sakes. And ate a potato sandwich. And guess what? I... It barely made any goddamn effect. Listened to a few MSX tunes. And they barely made an effect. And I've had to get a taxi to literally drive me to the rest of the goddamn, uh, you know, to the rest of the goddamn street. Because I have to walk, and I'm not walking all the way back. Seriously. Now, as for the, um... And what I did, basically just sat down for a few minutes or hours. And then I decided to, um, to literally take a nap. And a nap that was supposedly gonna be making me better. And it kinda did. But I would still not go back on the fact that I... Well, I wanna quit. Like, I still wanna quit this social media thing. Cause, as it's, um, as it's obvious, it made me waste more than gain. You know? I have wasted a lot more than I have gained. And I'm gonna wait. I don't want to leave. I don't want to think about leaving. Like, as you can see, my... Uh, as you can see, my... Uh, but, um... My GF... Had... Uh, want me to stay. And of course, not to mention that I... Um, there's still lots of people, um, lots of people want me to stay. And I remember once that people still want this channel to exist because of the music. Like, let's be fair. Okay, let's be fair. Some people just do it way better than me. And they get recognized. But, um, and honestly, I was supposed to be, you know, the out-of-the-box guy that did something that no one else is making nowadays, and from my phone. But then, um, I barely see people care, really, especially within the, uh, possibility of completely losing brains and shit. In other words, like, it's just not getting any better. I don't know you. Like, To be very honest, I want my dad to be out to the goddamn business trip forever, along with me being able to rest up and play some games and relax and do nothing but all that, because like I said, 
Social media has been nothing but a goddamn uh, obstacle in my goddamn life that's been completely hindering a lot of things. Look, it fucked me up in college in two years, for fuck's sake. And not even, uh, none of those goddamn stuff that happened during the two years were fucking worth anything. Really. Like, it wasn't even fucking worth it. <sighs> and, um, to my goddamn demise, I just can't believe that I have gone inside some things that I shouldn't have ever been into. I just can't believe it. I'm not supposed to judge him at all, but I am honestly, I just can't imagine myself getting into this kind of thing ever again. Especially now is in, now is my goddamn uh, stuff. <sighs> I might be, I might be monitored anyways. Like, I might be getting monitored by someone that is pretty much recording every move that I do. Which is just so fucking sad and bullshit, cause... Like... <sighs> for God's sakes, leave me alone. I'm already suffering. I'm already regretting. I'm already reflecting to myself on literally the amount of time, effort, money, cell, or data, everything that has been wasted. Seriously. And the fact that people just want to do more is a way fucking bullshit thing. Like, not only that, but I have lost even my older friends. Like, Steve, aka Angry Terry, I've literally lost him. He might be already trash talking me when he, he sees that. Of course, it's gonna be in disbelief at first, but now, he's literally. He's literally gonna be against me, and I know it. Especially when he was my goddamn friend ever since the time that I was. Completely fucked up on Twitter, aka my last day on Twitter. Now, there's absolutely no way I might get him back. I just know it because I lost him. Like, I completely lost him. Along with that, I've lost other older friends. And, uh,. Personally, I'm not planning to lose anymore. Like, um, but then of course, there are stuff being done behind the scenes. That's another setup, another goddamn bullshit plan to destroy me. And I know it, because the human nature, like I said, it just wants more. It's literally greedy. Even to the even to the point where you just need to hurt someone more than they have already been hurt. Like bro, I've lost my sanity. I've lost my focus to college. I've lost my goddamn gaming spirit. I don't wanna travel abroad. I've given up hope. I've lost my older friends. I've lost my goddamn you know uh trust. I've lost everything. Really. Like what else? Like what more do they want me to fucking lose? When all is already lost. Seriously. And I can't even do stuff in IR in real life. Thanks to all of that. Like I've been violently shivering. Which is just... Complete bullshit, again. But then again, sometimes, why do they even care? Why are they supposed to care when they can just do everything? Do you, uh, 
Honestly. Honestly. Those people are the last goddamn people that I would love to and I would like to make any kind of deal with. In fact, I'm not making any more deals with any more people. Cuz who the fuck who the fuck are they to even force me to make a deal or to force me to do something? Like I'm out of the goddamn servers. I've been banned. I've lost my friends. I've been fucking outcasted. What what more do they possibly want to fucking put? More than they have already put inside me and inside my goddamn older friends. Like, what more? Really? <sighs> oh, well. And honestly, I really, I really wish that I wasn't easily getting affected and easily getting fucked up by such small things. Like people will say it's just a comment, deal with it, you know, remove it or something. But but for me it isn't. Nothing is literally safe or small anymore. Anything is now a potential thing to completely fuck you over. And honestly, and honestly, if it wasn't for all that outcasting and all those goddamn years that I've spent out there literally trying to screw some women just to find them that they're minors and literally hiding their goddamn ages. And not to mention the times where role players themselves have gotten sick of me and like literally have decided to call me out. Like, if it wasn't for those times, along with the many times that I have spent way too much goddamn time towards the fucking social media, to the point that I was fucking blinded and it was like I was on drugs. You know, on literal drugs, and was smoking something while I was typing most things that coming out pretty offensive. But then again, who the fuck would ever believe that? Like really, who the fuck would ever believe that? When I'm literally just a fucking degenerate fuck. And it's true, I am a degenerate fuck now. I am a complete degenerate fuck who was literally not gonna bother moving an inch from this goddamn bed thanks to that goddamn bullshit. People will just try to say you're supposed to get up and move on and you know build yourself as hard as ever. And I say no because something like that is not to literally bounce back up about but it's about Getting fucked up, it's the biggest hole. You're not gonna get out of it. And honestly, and honestly, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, um, for that nap, I have no idea how hard I would be suffering in my goddamn head right now. The headache would have been pretty much more severe than ever so um, in other words I wouldn't have been able to hold myself in any longer really like I have lost a lot of time in college I've lost a lot of precious time in college that has been now wasted on me trying to find the right transportation to walk and to get me to the rest of the goddamn uh, way home and uh, the rest I would just walk it along with that nap like you see I have a conscience unlike them I have a conscience that constantly making me regret and not making me sleep in at night I have a conscience 
That literally, that literally makes me feel completely bad at times where I shouldn't be feeling bad. Okay, I have a fucking conscience that tells me what the hell was that. And stuff like, bro, you're fucking up again. And, um, and thanks to that. And, uh, what I didn't know is that I actually fucked up. And my conscience was right. Always. Always my conscience. But, um, I wasn't listening. Why? It's because I was looking like everyone, if I was fucking intoxicated. Yeah. AKA drunk or on drugs. Dripping balls. And honestly, honestly, if being, like, if being a human is a mistake, then why the hell God created humanity in the first place? Or, or literally, everything that's being said about humanity, or the fact that humanity just needs to be fixed whenever it's goddamn fucked up, you know? Like, are we literally only, you know, useful to literally keep spitting out bullshit? <sighs> well, I guess no one will ever know. Until a world war comes in. And make that wake-up call. And hopefully, I honestly want it to come right now. Because I want people to wake the fuck up. The humanity. Is not a fucking machine. Humans are not machines, not rocks, not some kind of a very solid ass, you know, rocks that can withstand everything and just move on this fast. No. Humans are fucking fragile, for God's sakes. And what they want, and what people now want, is the fuck is a fucking giga chat. You know that fucking giga chat meme. Alright? People need a giga chat. You know, a chat in literally everything. AKA someone to be fucking perfect. That does not try to date. That says stuff in the right times. That doesn't get dropped. That basically isn't a human. But is a basically a beast. A very decent beast. I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this now. Oh god. I think I might be close on. <coughs> I think I might be close to goddamn throwing up. And if I can throw right now, it would better be done. Oh god. I'll see you all later.